Thank you for joining in and today's video I am going to be showing you how to make this little lighthouse scene. This is a small canvas, it's just a 5 by 7 and I did a pencil and I darkened up some of my lines here so everything um, hopefully is visible. And um, in case you wanted to draw out your um, lighthouse and horizon line first, if you prefer to just go in and paint that's fine too. But I left this here for anyone who wants to see it. It is um, nice and easy. Just your horizon line about two inches up from the bottom. There's a little separation here from where like a beach area would be and some water. Um, the top of course is sky and clouds. And then a very simple lighthouse just like your cone shape with a little rectangular base. And a little bit with your top here. We have roughly this piece angles out, flares out a little bit. We have like two squares and then like a triangle and a small circle on top there. So you can feel free to pause the video right here, do your sketch really quick on your canvas, and then you can jump right back into the painting portion. And as far as colors really quick, I have a few different light blues, that one's a little bit, um, a little bit more turquoisey, some dark, um, of course white and black for the lighthouse, and then it's either like a yellow ochre or raw sienna for some of the beach, a little bit of um, sap green for some grassy areas, and then the water is going to be a deeper blue. And then I just have two small brushes right here that I'm going to be using. And now we can just jump right in. And I'm going to start with the sky first because it's the largest area. I think I'm going to pick up one more brush just for the background. Um, I don't want anything too big, so I guess we'll go with, we'll try these two. Okay, just one is flat and one has an angle. So let's start with the flat one first. I am going to use, I actually found this paint at Target when I was waiting in a very long line, I saw the craft aisle and I bought a couple of these little paints so we can test them out today. only thing I just noticed is that there's no squeezy on these so you're going to need a palette knife with that type of paint or a stick. And I'm just going to slip this on top of here because I don't want to get paint on my table. Okay. I'm so used to doing watercolors that I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, back to the background.
and I'm just going to mix in a tiny bit of deeper blue for a little bit of dimension. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit on the top and a little bit on the sides. And I'm going to let this area dry up a little bit and I'm going to come down here to the bottom. And I'm going to use my yellow ochre and white. This is just a, some leftover white paint here in this cup. Once you've reached this point, I'm going to blow dry my painting and then come back and put a first layer on the water. And I'm going to make the water a little bit darker in the sky. I'm going to use my small brush here. Hmm. Let's see here. I'm going to put a tiny bit of green in with my blue.
next up I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some of the white on the lighthouse. I'm just using what's left over here on the brush for some waves here. And with some of my lighter green, I'm going to put pieces of grass. Just a little bit here and there. For the bottom base here, I'm just going to use a little bit of gray. black stripes. I'm going to let that dry up because I know it's wet. So this base here flares out a little bit and that is black and then so is the next little square up top. 
I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of gray in with that one though, just so you can see a little bit of a difference so it doesn't turn into a big blob. And then there's a little circle up top. And there are a few shadow lines that I just used the leftover black that was on my brush right there. And I'm going to put a very light gray up in through this top piece here. And if you wanted any more detail or um, like little bars coming across or like a little railing, I would recommend maybe like a fine liner or like a very skinny Sharpie if you would like some more detail. I think I'm going to leave mine the way it is. But I am going to put some clouds. just like one little one right here. And maybe some like wispies just to help blend it in a little bit. Maybe like a low, a low peaker over here. Okay. And then lastly, I think I'm going to use deep blue for just some little birds flying by. There we go. Okay. Well, and you can feel free to put as many as you want there. I did want to keep this tutorial easy for beginners, so I think I'm going to leave it like that. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more.